In this final part of re Capstone, we are asking you to analyze and synthesize all key aspects and components of the ADL program and the ePortfolio process that contributed to your development as a digital learner and leader, and share this experience along with the comprehensive organization of all your work. While this is one assignment, you may want to break it down into three closely related parts. First, you'll create a visual representation of your ADL journey using either video, a digital story, Prezi, infographics, or other digital tools that will show your audience your journey. This visual representation should include at minimum, but not be limited to, where were you when you started? Who was involved? The highs and the lows of your learning process. How you felt throughout the process. What you have created. What you have accomplished what you could do better, what lessons have you learned, and what do you plan to do next? Once again, I need to repeat that this is just a starting point for your synthesis. You need to make this your own. In the second part of this assignment, you'll need to link all your existing work and resources to support your visual representation through a well-organized blog post that will help further synthesize and support your experience in the ADL program. Finally, you will need to make sure that you've organized everything into a cohesive section of your ePortfolio. This should not be a new request because we've been asking you to do this at the end of each course. Now you need to do this for the whole program. Consider the following sections or components of your ePortfolio. Your About page or Bio, which is a great place for your learning philosophy. Your Main Interests, maybe a section on Learner's Mindset, the COVA and CSLE. Your projects or the innovation plan, categories, archives, links, social media connections, contact information, navigational structure, your reading list, books, etc., a search capability. By this point in the program, you will more than likely have dozens or even a hundred or more pages or posts on your site. So an organizational and navigational structure that connects all the components and clearly demonstrates that all the pieces fit into the bigger strategy approach will be critical. Finally, we want to remind you that this is your ePortfolio that you created in part to serve and support your specific audience. So please keep in mind what their needs are and how they will use your site. You have put a great deal of work into the ADL program and your ePortfolio has been the one place where all your hard work can be seen. So do your best to make it easy for your user to access all the work that you have done and help them on their learning journey toward becoming a digital learner and leader.